are continuing now with our panel, Steph, Joe, and Joe. Uh, and we're talking about Sunyi Previn. She's the adopted daughter of Mia Farrow and Andre Previn, uh, opening up now about her relationship with Woody Allen, who used to be with Mia Farrow, and defending her husband, Woody. NBC's Morgan Radford gets us up to speed. Watch. Overnight, Sunyi Previn breaking her silence 25 years after her affair with Woody Allen first made headlines. Previn is the adopted daughter of actress Mia Farrow. Allen was Farrow's longtime partner and 35 years Previn senior. Previn, now 47 and married to Allen for more than 20 years, now speaking out about her famous mother, telling New York Magazine's website Vulture they were like oil and water from the very beginning of their relationship. Mia wasn't maternal to me from the get-go, says Previn, who was adopted by Pharaoh and her then-husband, the pianist and conductor Andre Previn. She tried to teach me the alphabet with those wooden blocks. If I didn't get them right, sometimes she'd throw them at me or down on the floor. Who can learn under that pressure? Previn says she is not seeking revenge toward Pharaoh, saying, I was never interested in writing a mommy dearest, getting even with me, none of that. Previn also spoke out about the accusations from Allen's adopted daughter, Dylan Farrow, who claims she was molested by Allen in 1992 when she was just seven years old, saying what's happened to Woody is so upsetting, so unjust. Mia has taken advantage of the Me Too movement and paraded Dylan as a victim, and a whole new generation is hearing about it when they shouldn't. The claims setting off a bitter custody battle. Allen was never charged with any crime. Dylan has spoken out about the accusations in recent years. He's lying and he's been lying for so long. Farrow releasing a statement to New York Magazine saying any implication she was manipulated by her mother was offensive. This only serves to re-victimize me, Dylan writes. Thanks to my mother, I grew up in a wonderful home. Ronan Farrow, Alan and Farrow's only biological child, who has reported a series of high-profile Me Too stories, also released a statement accusing his father and his allies of, quote, planting stories that attack and vilify my mother to deflect from my sister's credible allegation of abuse. Wow, right? A lot to unpack yeah, yeah. there. I mean, look, this is a family that's been in crisis for a long, long time. Mm -hmm. And what you have now is sort of half the family backing Mia and the other half backing Woody. You know, Moses Farrow has come out saying his, his father never molested Dylan and that this is lies. And Ronan is backing Dylan, saying, I believe my sister Dylan. And you've had a split. The Yale New Haven board that looked into this found for Woody, a court found for me. I mean, it, it's, it's gone back and forth for decades now. This is the only abuse allegation that we know of that's been raised against Woody Allen in all these years, which he points to to say, if you're a child molester, you don't do it just once. Um, and Dylan Farrell says, I know what happened to me, and I deserve to be believed. Um, and there's a question about whether Mia brainwashed her or Woody molested. I mean, it's just... What are we to make of this? Well, what's interesting is the New York Magazine story was written by a friend of Woody Allen's, and so there is definitely a uh, angle here. If you look at the origin of why this is coming up right now, why Sun Yi chose to give this interview to this person, exactly. Right. But she exactly. disclosed it. The writer of the article disclosed it. The writer action. of the article did disclose it in about paragraph seven, exactly. rather than sentence number two, and that's actually an important point in a world in which people don't always get past the very beginning. And this is a very pointed piece. Uh, it's out there because Woody Allen can't make the movies that he wants to make. Actors, actresses are uh, apologizing for having worked with him, perhaps refusing to work with him. It looks like his latest film has been put on the shelf. This is a calculated move. This is a calculated move in a media war. And well, Woody's been vocal as well. I mean, this, it's not like he's had no defense. You, Dylan Farrell wrote a, a piece First, Nick Kristoff of the New York Times wrote a piece. Then Dylan came out with a long first-person narrative of what happened to her. Then Woody Allen, a couple years ago, wrote his own first-person narrative, denying it point by point. They've been going tit for tat. Um, I'll tell you, you know, in all my spare time, I actually went back and pulled the court files and actually looked at this a couple years ago because I was interested in it from mm -hmm. a legal standpoint. Um, and I will say, as a lawyer, I left the matter confused. Mm -hmm. I, I left the matter saying, I don't know what happened. Um, not every victim is telling the truth. Right. And ev pretty much every defendant denies it. 
right? So it's like, I wish I could shed greater light on it for people, but I'm left feeling like this family's very dysfunctional. We've, we, we, a lot of us have dysfunctional families, but this one, obviously, it's... it's Unlike any Laundry gets ours. aired in yes. public, given the, this famous well, people. We're also leaving there. out the scandal of, of Woody's relationship with Soon Yi, which began when she was living uh, in her adopted mother's house. Uh, they were uh, partners, uh, he and her mother. Yep. Uh, and she was 18, 21 years old, perhaps legal, but he's 30 years older. This is... Odd. And had been a paternal figure. Yeah, exactly. I mean, he admits. Had been a paternal figure. Yeah. She and denies. He, he denies it, but he admits. Had known her since she was ten years old. This is strange. Yeah, yeah. And it no is question. interesting too in this article, and and she points out how um, Mia Farrow was not maternal to her. And she was in this incredibly, you have to at least, even if you don't believe her story, have some sympathy for this woman and where she came from, the fact that she was eating soap on the streets of South Korea. She was adopted. She was put into this family, which was at the very least incredibly complicated, uh, and then finds herself in this bizarre love triangle between Mia and Woody, and uh, it, it's... There is so much pain She, here. too, says that she's an abuse victim. Dylan says that she was the victim of a sexual abuse, which Woody denies. Soon Yi says she was the victim of physical abuse at Mia's hand, which, which uh, you know, Mia denies. So I don't know that we're ever going to know.